Hello, I'm Glenn Toby. I'm a Spring Forest Chicago master and a psychotherapist. The topic of my five minute talk today is the power and strength of humility. And yes, I'll weave in a little bit of a conversation between reality and spirituality. Remember, it's not either or reality or spirituality. It really is both and. So it's always weaving the, com the conversation back and forth, understanding reality and the spirituality that kind of holds the reality together. So, so humility. You know, I, I've loved this word. You know, I've, a long, long time ago, I thought humility is just about some some humble monk or some just humble, you know, weak person. I just can't do anything. I'll just be, you know. Then I began to grow in that word what humble meant. And then I realized, you know, humility is not so much acting in weakness. You know, it really is acting in, in the strength of who you are. So then humility has a power. It has a great strength because it's displaying what? Who you are. And the caution with the humility or the growth and the work with humility is not being more than who you are and not being less than who you are. So to be more than who you are really isn't being humble. Being less than who you are really isn't humble. So you might have achieved a great thing and you dismiss it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. That's not being humble. That's dismissing who you are. Yes, I've achieved this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've worked for that. Yes, this is true. I am the best person in the world. I am the best. No, that's not true. So both sides of the, the humility, not being less than who you are, not being more than who you are. So powerful, so important. Then how do you determine that balance? It is balance. You know, but it's not a fixed thing. Like you are a humble person, that's what you are. It's fixed, it'll never change. No. It really is a back and forth. It really is a pulsating figure out of life. So it's about it's adjusting, it's listening. So I'm humble, I know what I need, and don't tell me anything more. No. I'm always willing to learn about, oh, I think I'm a little bit arrogant about, I think I'm unstating. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's kind of always checking kind of the balancing. Cautiously not going here, cautiously not going out there too far, too far in the reality, so to speak, of who you are. The spirituality of who you are is a little bit back and forth. You know, oops. So how do you learn in life? You have experiences. You know, you have uh, knowledge. You have, you know, stuff go on. How do you know they're all the right thing, or the wrong thing, or anything? Well, it's, it's because it's a back and flow. It's a give and take. So the experiences we've had, you know, the knowledge that we gain, we can move it to where, you know, to I know more than you. Well, I've had more experiences than you. You don't know anything because I've had more. Oh no, that's being more than who you are. What I've liked about uh, humility when I've talked to uh, people in my therapy sessions is some of the language that goes with it. And actually, when I've presented these uh, uh, talks to you, I've tried to be humble with you. And I'm not saying I've been right with what I say. But I've tried not to be more than who I am. And I've tried not to be less than who you are, who I am. So some of my, si my sentences are like this. This is my understanding of humility. Or this is my understanding of this. This is how I understand what this is. This is my... So it's no longer saying, well, this is the truth. This is the right way. I want you all to believe all these kinds of things. No, that might be arrogance. So I've tried to be like real, genuine. Here's my thoughts. Here's my understanding. This is what I realize. Then sometimes in my therapy session, I will ask either an individual person or couples that I see, I'll ask them, what's the color of my wall? And say, one person might say this color and the other person might say, well, actually, and that's what humility is, is here, I, this is the color I see in the wall. No, this is the color I see in the wall. Is one right? Is one wrong? Not necessarily. So how do you see the world? How do you see the world? I see the wall, the wall is this color. I see this color. Okay, then you live by what? What you see. Tomorrow you may realize it's a different color. Yes, the lighting was poor. Or I don't know what colors are. Yeah, all those things. But at the moment, what is it that you see? What is it that you know? 
and how is it that you can share? So even in conversations with friends or partners, how do arguments go? I know the right answer. I know the right answer. No, this is what I understand. This is my understanding. So the, the power and the strength of humility is the spirituality of coming back to who you are back and forth. So there's a story about a student and a master. And the student says to the master, I feel a little bit lost. What should I do? And the master says, a little bit to the left. You know, later on they meet up and the master says, no, a little bit to the right. And a little bit later they meet up. And the master says, no, a little bit to the left. The master says, which way is it? You tell me left, you tell me right, you tell me left, you tell me which. He says, well, that's right, because you've gone down the road. Now you need to move a little bit to the left. Oh, now you move down. Now a little bit more, a little more, no, a little more. Yeah, you're always what? Back and down the road, always moving back and forth. There's not one fixed answer. So now I'm not talking about left in politics or right in politics or any politics at all or policy. It's about a vibration. The vibration, the master will sell, tell you, the vibration is different on, if you move to the left. The vibration is different if you move. The vibration, so you're trying to be aware of what? The, the vibration of arrogance and the vibration of understanding in order to come back to the vibration of your heart. Spirituality is what? The art of coming home. So feeling that vibration of who you are. It's not about ego. It's about more like a being of light. Now I was trying to figure out how I was going to end this little talk. I don't know. I didn't come up with anything. I could say, oh, I could say, well, well, this is what I have. Thank you for listening.